Okay, can I use a radioactive lens, specifically a Pentax Takamar 50mm f1.4, which has uh, three radioactive elements, thorium doped, which are emitting alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, to power a photovoltaic, which is not that extremely dissimilar from a beta voltaic, which is a true radiation cell. Instead of light radiation, it's using actual beta radiation to power it, which is a really rare cell, but even though it's lossy, you think I could actually use a radioactive camera lens to power one of those little bobblehead toys that actually sits on your dashboard? This one's different. It actually hangs from above, but it's the same thing. I got two of them. One of them is the control, and one of them that's uh, underneath the radioactive cell. So let's go take a look. I'm going to bring a flashlight up from behind my back. So as I turn around, you can see it's totally dark. Let's see. On the right, we have nothing, which is our control. And over here... We <laughs> over here, here's the radioactive lens pointed at the cell. And this is my control on the right, which has nothing. I have a light behind my back to show, shed some illumination. I turned it off and I'm back on again. <laughs> Not too exciting, huh? Well, nevertheless, I actually having, I actually never seen it before, ever before. I actually have a camera lens let me, there we go. Let me turn the light on now. Ooh, there we go. There we go. I actually have a camera lens powering a little photovoltaic kid's cell toy. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Make a comment about something, right? Now the light's on. Uh, <laughs> now they're almost spinning up now, of course. So, there we go. <laughs> I don't know where else you're going to see that. He's like, uh, this guy is using a camera lens, radioactive one, Pentax Takamar 50mm 1.4, to power a, a bobblehead. It's not a bobblehead. This one actually swings from above, but it's the same thing. Um, no different than the flower ones that swing from bottom up. This one just swings from top down. He uses the photovoltaic to create a little field that interacts with the magnet hanging off the bottom of that little toy. So there's not another video like this on YouTube. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> so there you go, kitties. That is how you power a car dashboard, uh, solar cell powered car toy with a radioactive camera lens. <laughs> If you actually look at my other videos, you can type in radioactive lenses on YouTube and you'll get like a dozen videos that I made using a Geiger counter. And these radioactive lenses, I got a bunch of them. So there you go. I hope you like this video. If you like it, you can make a small donation. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. But there you go. My camera lens's radioactivity is powering a, yeah. Nerd alert. Geek. Nerd. Whatever. It's still cool. You can hate it all you like, but it's still cool. And I did it first. Bye.